Hi, so it has been a minute and I want to apologize. My summer has become way more busy than I was expecting. For those of you who don't know, I started cosmetology last week. Is that right? Has it only been a week? And for those of you who don't know, I'm 40. <laughs> so I am a later in life student, as they call it. And I am doing a cosmetology program that is 1600 hours and I'll be able to complete it in the next 14 months. I thought today I would show you a tool that I have been introduced to in the last week and do my hair for you. <laughs> for those of you who are wondering, I have put some heat protectant on my hair. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open my train case. I thought that it might be kind of fun to take you guys along in my journey of cosmetology. I just think it is so fascinating. It is something I've always been very interested in since a very young age. I was doing my nails as young as like eight. I would save up my allowance. I'd go to the store, buy the press on nails and put them on my nails. I don't know. I've always been like that. So I am going to teach you guys how to use the Marcel curling iron today. And mind you, and I've only been using this for a week. So it's going to be a bit of a rough start. But let me show you what it looks like. Apparently in the hairstyling cosmetology world, this is the type of the type of curling iron that professionals use. And I believe I've seen this over the years. I never really thought anything of it until I was given one in my cosmetology kit. And I was like, what am I gonna do with this? How do I use this? And I will say that I probably use it, I use it a little bit differently than my instructors showed me how or showed me how to use it. Um, technically, you're supposed to put your your first your first finger, your pointer finger underneath, and these on top. But I have tiny hands, so what works for me is this. So the idea of this curling iron is that there isn't tension in it, so you can get uh, creaseless curls. Allegedly, your curls last longer, which we'll find out today because this is the first time I've actually curled my own hair using this curling iron. I've only done it on mannequins and another person's hair, not my own. So um, basically, you clamp, curl, and you can kind of like, oh, there's a word for this. can't remember what it's called, but you can kind of guide the curl out of the curling iron. Um, also, it spins. Like this is a spinning uh, handle which when you see how this is used it's gonna blow your mind let me plug this in okay so one of my instructors said the ideal heat temperature for most hair types is 380 so I went ahead and turned the dial to 380 and I've got it on it does heat up rather quickly in fact it's already getting hot um, I'm hoping that I do I have somewhere I can put this on I don't really have anywhere to put this on. Um, let's see if I can put it on my train case. If you guys are interested, I can show you all of the things along the way. I think it'd be really fun to do like an entire series of videos on beauty okay. school. Not only am um, I going to be learning hair design, but I'm also going to be learning nails, um, a basic esthetician, uh, pedicures, manicures, uh, I just learned how to do a scalp treat treatment yesterday. Um, kind of all of the things. So, um, yeah. And I thought it would be fun to sort of take you guys along the way. It's, it's kind of a funny story as to how I started cosmetology. And I suppose I should probably tell you how that happened. So, my little um, sister did cosmetology through Paul Mitchell a few years ago. She graduated like three or four years ago. She got her four-year degree bachelor's degree in teaching and she decided she wanted to go to hair school so she did and I've always wanted to go to hair school since I was like 15 so it was always a dream of mine but when she got her cosmetology license I thought to myself the family already has a cosmetologist in the family like I have five siblings tons of cousins lots of nieces and nephews and I was like maybe I don't need to do it so that sort of like uninspired me to follow that dream which is weird, 
because you should always do what you want to do regardless of what other people so, do. Uh, my what? little sister recently moved to Idaho and she's not going to be around to do any of my family's hair. Seems kind of like a strange motivation, right? But she was moving out of state and I thought to myself, I should get my cosmetology license. I should. Aside from the fact that it's something I've always wanted to do, aside from the fact that she was moving out of state, I thought it would be a great opportunity to learn a trade that I could possibly do at home. Um, I already have a name for my potential salon and everything. I'm so excited. So I decided back in March that I was gonna go to beauty school, look into it at least. So I went to the academic advisor at my school, talked to him a little bit about cosmetology and he told me that the best program that this college offers is the cosmetology all-inclusive program where you learn a little bit of everything in the beauty business. I'm even going to learn how to do eyelashes, tint eyebrows, waxing, stuff like that. So I so. filled out a financial aid form through FAFSA. If you guys have never done that before, highly recommend it. Uh, basically you fill out the application and you put on the form which school you intend on going to when you finish filling out the application that application is sent to the financial aid department at that school and they will reach out to you and the school that I'm currently going to has the most amazing financial aid department I actually wasn't gonna start school until August possibly October because they have a lottery system here where they just kind of select people randomly to get into the program that's how popular it is and a few days after applying for this college, the cosmetology department called me and told me that they had an opening in May. And I was like, yes, please, like literally sign me up yesterday. So, so I have never curled my hair in a viewfinder before. I always have a mirror and currently my mirror is over here with a lot of stuff on it and I can't move it. So this is gonna be kind of an interesting experience. But so this is called the Marcel curling iron. I think that's what it's called. I'm gonna be really embarrassed if I have to caption this because I've said it wrong. Um, this is by Hot Tools. It is a professional, I mean, this is like, it doesn't get any more professional than this in what I've discovered and found out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take some sections of my hair. Like I said, I already have heat protectant on it. And I'm gonna show you how this thing works. So if you wanna curl hair this way, you have to hold it like this. If you want to curl it the other way, you hold it like this. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be, oof, I'm gonna totally ruin this. Now I have a hard time, see, I've already messed it up. Um, I have a hard time uh, using it this way. I don't know why, it's like my brain doesn't work like that. But as you can see here, you have the ability to still curl the hair but guide it through the curling iron by doing this and you can get so many different types of curls let me see if i can get the kink out here that's just great dub so i'm going to use it like this okay i'm mind you i'm still learning okay bear with me um so i'm gonna go ahead and try to uh, get that out oh my goodness i'm not gonna be able to so let's just see if we can curl it. You gotta be really quick with a curling iron like this because it's super hot and it's super good at curling. So the idea here is that you just kind of clamp it out as it curls. And there's many different types of curls that you can do. You can do the beach wave curls. You can do like really tight ringlets. Uh, you can even flat iron with this, which I have yet to learn how to do. So, um, it's weird. My brain works like this. Like I can totally curl someone's hair like this very easily. But when I go the other way, I, I like literally have to rethink about what I'm doing. I don't know what look I'm really going for at this point. I'm just trying to show you how this thing works. And I'm so used to using on someone else's hair that this is like really confusing me right now. <gasps> okay. So I'm going to do this and you've got to be really quick. And that's, it's actually, you're not supposed to use two hands with it. Um, the idea is that you're supposed to kind of do this and then slowly let the hair out like that. So that one actually turned out pretty good. Now, my recommendation for curls is that you don't brush them out immediately if you want them to last longer because 
you want them to set before doing anything. So I'm gonna try to do this one-handed and see. If, see, okay, I'm getting better. See how that just spins in your hand? It's pretty amazing. Okay, ah, uh, I've lost it, uh, but that's okay. I'm not really going for anything fancy today, but let's see if we can recurl this and kind of hide some of the kinks here. Okay, see, here I am again. Like, how do I use this? Okay, we're gonna go up a little bit higher and you can also do like curls at the top of your head, which gives you volume. There's so many options with this curling iron. I already love it and I've only been using it a week. Okay, I'm actually getting kind of the hang of this. See, one hand, let's do this, one hand. Twist. I'm still learning how to do the beachy waves where they have like the straight bottom. I'm kind of old school. That's something I've sort of noticed in my class is that all of the girls in my class do the beachy waves with like the straight bottom and I do the full curl, but that's like how I did it in the 90s and that's how I've done it my whole life. So anyway, I hope you guys can kind of see how I'm, see how I'm turning that and then I'm like sticking my fingers into the handle and manipulating the curl. Okay, so I am done with my hair. I did try to go for the beachy wave, but the 90s girl in me had to curl the ends. So this is what it looks like when I'm done. I'm genuinely curious to see if the curls really do stay longer like all of my instructors said it would. <sighs> I'm so excited for this journey and I'm so excited to bring you guys along with me. I think I'm going to do a video next on my train case and the supplies that I got for school. If you guys have any questions regarding cosmetology or my experience or just about me, if you're new here and you want to know more, feel free to leave those in the comments section. I hope that you guys have a good day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.